Hello friends, I'm not Jim Nance. I don't play Jim Nance on TV. And I'm tired of receiving his bills in the mail. I'm Kurt Berglund, and every Monday morning I do a book review of a baseball book. Sometimes it's fiction, sometimes it's nonfiction, sometimes it's a player. Most of the time it's about a team or a manager that could be new or it could be vintage. And today is one of the vintage books uh, that you may not know much about. Uh, but it's a book I've had in my book collection for almost 40 years. Is that possible? Um, the book is called Miracle on 35th Street, Win and Ugly with the 1983 Chicago White Sox. It's written by a sports writer for the Chicago Tribune named Bob Logan, who passed away in 2006, but had a long career covering most Chicago sports teams. I don't know if he covered the Bears, but I know he covered the Bulls and the Cubs and the White Sox. Probably the Bears, too. Um, the book is a book about the American League Western Division champion Chicago White Sox in 1983. They were managed back then by a man named Tony La Russa, who you probably haven't heard much about, but he was the manager of the White Sox a long time ago. And then Ken Harrelson whacked him. So... Uh, the team is a very interesting story of uh, players sort of reviving their careers in Chicago with the White Sox, young players coming to uh, their peak, and a few key trades that sort of help to bring everything together, and it's all chronicled in this book. Uh, it's well written. Uh, you can um, count on some inside information uh, that sports writers would know about, and Logan certainly put into this book. The 83 White Sox did not win the pennant. They did not go on to the World Series, and they certainly did not win the 1983 World Series. And in fact, the nucleus of the team kind of fell apart shortly after this season. They had a horrible 84 season where they kind of fell apart. Some people said they uh, quit on Tony La Russa in 84. Um, and then they traded the ace of the pitching staff you know, before the 85 season for a shortstop. Uh, from the from the San Diego Padres named Ozzy Guillen, who I don't think anyone's ever heard of since then either. But um, for this one season, this team was a very interesting story. Um, they blew away their competition in the American League West. Logan talks about that. He talks about the star players, including uh, Carlton Fisk and Greg Luzinski and Rookie of the Year Ron Kittle. All have sort of interesting contributions to make to this team as well. Then he talks about the playoffs against the Baltimore Orioles, in which the White Sox lost that best of five series in four games for some very specific reasons that he goes into in the book as well. There are about 20 pages worth of photographs. The book is about 150 pages or so long. There are stats in the back. Um, the usual kind that you would find in 1983, and there are also box scores of the playoff games from the 1983 American League Championship Series. There is not an index to the book, but it's an easy read. It's a pretty quick read, but it's an interesting read about a ball club that was an interesting ball club for just a moment. Um... The book is available online uh, for about 20 bucks used on the high end. I've seen it for as low as between 10 and 15 on the low end. The book is uh, published um, uh, by Icarus Press in South Bend, Indiana, which I don't know if it exists anymore, but that's your publisher, Icarus Press. And 
Uh, I think the reason the price is as high as it is is probably due to a limited publication run. Um, but uh, the book was five ninety five originally back in nineteen eighty three when it was published. So that's the book for today. I do recommend it. Good read about an interesting team. Miracle on 35th Street. See the play on words because of the movie Miracle on 34th Street. Mike Squires, one of the players, came up with that. And Logan used it for the title of the book. Win and Ugly with the 1983 Chicago White Sox. Uh, the Comiskey Park, where this team's games were played, half of them anyway, was located on 35th and Shields. And, of course, now it's gone. Um... But that's where it was located, so the Miracle on 35th Street is where that comes from. Anyway, uh, that's our book for this morning. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for weekly book reviews on my channel about baseball. And tomorrow, I'll be doing a special show on my channel about uh, an upcoming set release for Pine Tar Baseball that I am just about finished with. Um, and is coming out. It is called The Great Teams of the 20th Century, Volume 2. It features um, almost 30 great teams from the 20th century, at least one from every decade in the century, and some special stuff as well. So subscribe, and you'll get the lowdown on that tomorrow as well. Thank you for joining me. appreciate your support. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. To my channel, I need your support, everybody. Thank you so much for being with me. Have a wonderful Monday. So long, everybody.